Live from Activision, this is CTR TV. Oh, I love that old song, Jasper. Well, thanks, Helen. It's one of my favorites, too, particularly because I'm singing it. <laughs> yes, sir. Me and my purple alligator love jamming to that one. <laughs> yes, it's a true. First impressions are a very important, especially when... Uh, wait a minute. Did you just say you and your purple alligator? <laughs> uh, Chuck, I'm not an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Munch. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about my imagination. Friend. You have an imaginary friend, Chucky? Sure. Let me tell you about him. I lived several lifetimes while I was in that coma in a bunch of different genres. I couldn't get a handle on who I was or what it all meant. All right, so I did some research and tried to find out about the origin of this film. What I discovered was, uh, interesting. First episode. Ah, right in the feels. I know that Jim Henson's creations are no strangers to making us cry, but come on. The first second into this thing? That's right. Say, Chick, are there any new cuts this time around? Of course, and we can reveal these beauties immediately. Can we all just admit that seeing someone in a coma is intensely erotic? OMG! I came down for sugar, but got something much sweeter. Well, that sounds spine tingling and nice accent. <laughs> all right, all right, let's not make a big deal out of this. Now, come on. I know that you think that this puppet is creepy, but you could just see the heartbreak in his eyes right there, couldn't you? Nope. So we're really spies again. Things have changed. You finally exercised. Stop being such a dick about it. The pacing of the movie doesn't make any sense. For example, they build a sense of urgency with one of the characters being in danger of drowning and said that the character needs immediate help. Following that, it takes the rest of the characters like... 10 minutes to actually do anything. It's infuriating. I shit you not, they hold a town committee before acting. That's like seeing someone's house on fire and spending the next half hour debating with others on what to do. Also, this movie is littered with Sean Connery references, and every time one is said, it just takes me out of the film. Woo-wee! My passion for racing has been reignited! We've instituted a strict no drinking on duty policy. Here's the backup plans. No! New Better Cheryl doesn't do that! It used to be fun. Yeah, well, your legs used to work. What the fuck? Why was she turned on by his baby pictures? What kind of airline is this? They're handsome and delicious! Okay, so listen to this part closely. The tactile came. My inevitable rise to the top of the... Uh, it's... I am not sure what you heard, but this is what it sounded like to me. See this piece of machinery? I invented it! We return to my old tradition of reviewing terrible Christmas movies that feature Gary Chalk, who in my eyes will always be Optimus Primal first and foremost. Also joining him in this cast are Ian James Corlett, Venus Terzo, and Scott McNeil. So not only do we have Optimus Primal, but we also have Cheetor, Black Arachnia, Dinobot, Silverbolt, and Waspinator. They're delicious! That's got the making of a true spectacle! Now, without further ado, let's have a look at this season's new racers! Oh man, Karate Island Boner. We try to keep things professional around here. Fine, God, how about work-related erection? <laughs> Intentional or not, that was pretty funny. This seemed more like a sideshow act there, chick. But maybe they could pull it together with this carousel of new carts. Yeah. Woo! Big Mama's handing out biscuits, baby! Don't spray that urine on my son's window. If you want a dollar for doing nothing, walk to Canada. Ridica Lickerless. Don't go anywhere, I think you're gonna be busy for this review. Old way funner Cheryl is so back. So much. I know you aren't a purple alligator, but what exactly are you? Well, I'm a... Uh, well, I, I'm purple, and uh, I like pizza. You know, I'm... Uh, I don't really know what I am. Oh, a purple gorilla? A turkey? An anteater? 
no, I don't think I'm any one of those things. And I definitely don't eat ants. Well, Munch, I do know that you are a great friend, and I can count on you for just about anything. Aww. Oh, thanks, Chuck. Saber Spark. Who's ready to get scrambled?